Hey everyone, it's Dr. Jen and welcome back to 60 Second Psychology, where I explain a theory, concept, or psychological phenomenon in just 60 seconds. Today's topic, the effects of crowding, the density intensity hypothesis. In social psychology, the effects of crowding are significant and there are two specific effects at play. Number one, crowded conditions have a tendency to either enhance positive experiences or increase the unpleasantness of negative experiences. Number two, gender plays a role. Men experience higher stress in crowded conditions compared to women. Men are more likely to react with increased aggressiveness, apparently because men require more personal space. Man cave, anyone? In 1984, researchers Stephen Warchel and Elizabeth Hunter Brown led a study that found that people who sat together very closely in a movie theater were less likely to say that they felt crowded when watching an arousing film that was action-packed, violent, or humorous than those who watched a non-arousing film, like a documentary or a drama. In the action-packed and humorous films, participants actually enjoyed the films more when viewing in crowded conditions. They concluded that crowding may increase the enjoyment of arousing events while making less arousing events more unpleasant. When it comes to high residential density, overcrowding has been associated with mental health and physical problems, juvenile delinquency, poor academic performance, and higher mortality rates. On a positive note, in stimulating social events, the movie effect holds true. People actually prefer high density crowds at concerts, sporting events, festivals, and so on. To summarize, the density intensity hypothesis can either lead to a positive or negative experience. Have you ever experienced this phenomenon before? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye.